Well, and we've certainly had some tropical downpours across the area this afternoon. Take a look at radar right now. Most of that rain has really been focused along I-44. The heavier thunderstorm activity we had earlier this afternoon before the rain became widespread. We've still got some stronger storms though on the northern edge of this shield of rainfall up toward Lake of the Ozarks. Some lightning and maybe some gusty winds with that activity. Otherwise, this is mainly just a band of rainfall. We get a little break down toward the Branson Gainesville area and then more rain as you slip south into northern areas of Arkansas. And I think for tonight into tomorrow, the main concern is going to be for flash flooding. This afternoon with the thunderstorm activity, we have had pockets of excessive rainfall. You can see these little bullseyes of yellow, orange and red that indicates amounts of two to maybe four inches which have fallen this afternoon with the rain and thunderstorm activity that we've had in our area. Notice how that's really focused here along I-44 and it's resulted in at least a risk of flash flooding. We've got a flash flood warning in effect right now for the Nixa Ozark area. Another one for eastern Green County up into southeastern Laclede County and then another small pocket up in northeastern Phelps County. And wherever we have these warnings uh, within those warned areas, we've seen amounts of at least in pockets of maybe two to three inches, generally speaking. Now looking off to the south, we find barrel and the circulation of barrel continues to make steady progress off toward the northeast towards southwest Arkansas. And these outer bands are producing where there's more instability some tornadic weather. There have been a bunch of tornado warnings in eastern Texas, western Louisiana, now southwest Arkansas. It is not unusual to have tornadoes with tropical systems once they make landfall and then even well after landfall. And here's what's interesting. We've had two other instances of barrel over the years. One back in 2012, which produced four tornadoes, and then another one back in 1994, which produced 37 tornadoes. So far today, I think the tornado count is up to at least seven and uh, likely uh, more than that, probably over 10 uh, at, at this stage of the game. Uh, that tornado risk will continue northeast overnight tonight into Tuesday. Now, we're not really positioned very favorably, you know, related to the track of barrel overnight tonight through the morning on Tuesday. We're on the left side of that track, but closer to the track of the system, uh, the wind field's going to be pretty strong and there may be just enough instability for a limited risk of a tornado in our southeastern counties. Areas really south and east of a of a uh, say uh, uh, Harrison to eminence line. Generally along and south of that line is where I think there may be a limited risk for tornado after midnight tonight through sunrise on Tuesday. The bigger concern, more widespread concern is going to be for flooding and flood watches are in effect for most areas along and south of the interstate where I'm expecting one to four inches generally and there could be some localized pockets in there, especially closer to the track of barrel that pick up four to six inches of rainfall. Here's a quick peek at uh, our hour by hour forecast and you can see how the steadier rains of barrel will spread north later tonight and into the morning hours on Tuesday. A wet start to our Tuesday. Uh, that rain will be with us throughout the morning hours along and east of Highway 65, but it will exit gradually from west to east east of Highway 65 during the afternoon. And I think a lot of the area will see at least a little bit of sunshine by late afternoon. And with the clouds and the wet weather, it's going to be unusually mild. Looks like a high of 76. Beautiful day on Wednesday. Morning lows in the low 60s, afternoon highs in the mid 80s, low humidity. We'll see the humidity levels creeping back up for the end of the weekend of this weekend. Afternoon temperatures creeping higher too. And then Sunday into Monday, here comes that uh, excessive heat. It looks like highs mm -hmm. will generally be in the mid 90s with lows in the low to mid 70s and heat index values will probably be back over 100. That snap back to reality. Have you mm -hmm. seen the memes that are, you know, after Independence Day, after the 4th of July, it's like July 5th, and then it has a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns? <laughs> I believe <laughs> For it. the people who love Halloween yeah. and, and fall are really looking forward to, you know, July 4th is kind we, of a milestone. I feel like July 4th is kind of like New Year's. It's, yeah. it's like once we get to like July 4th, we're just like looking ahead to, again, the fall and, and yeah. Halloween. and then well, Especially days like today, you get yeah. a little bit of taste of that cool down and really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. All right, Jamie, thank you.